Hi everyone, it's Sandy here and welcome to my channel. Uh, in my last video I did a project share on some projects that I had made and I also showed you uh, a project uh, making these embellished uh, mason jar tags and I used my We Are Memory Keepers uh, envelope punch board to make the uh, mason jar. I also had a few of you wanting to know how I made it as well so I'm going to uh, show you in this video how you could make um, these easy mason jar um, tags and also other project ideas that you can make uh, with this um, shape. So they are very easy to make. Um, so they, I made these in different sizes so you can make them in different heights and different widths. Um, but I'm going to show you this size here which is uh, two and a half inches by four inches. So I'm going to show you how you make that um, shape and I'll just show some of these other projects before um, I show you how to make them. So this is the one I'm going to show you. Uh, so that's the mason jar and then I also made a mason jar, a pocket for the a tag to go in um, as well. So these two I managed, well all these projects were, I, I was able to make them using my 6x6 six six paper. So these two were made using just the one uh, sheet of 6x6. Six six. So you get the pocket and you can get the tag together. So that's uh, one of the projects and then the other one I made was a mason jar card and an envelope to go with it. So that's the envelope and this is the card, mason jar card and this is a um, slightly wider, same height. Um, this one is 3 inches by 4 inches and then you just open that up and that's your card and you can just write your message there and I just stamped a uh, tea time theme clear stamp set that I have in my uh, stash. And then I just added some silver uh, glitter washi tape uh, just to decorate the top of the jar. So this is a nice cute little uh, card you can make. And um, the envelope was also made by the punch board and it's the 3x4 size envelope and that uses a 1x6x6 six six paper. So to make these two projects you just need two pieces of 6x6 six six paper. You get the envelope and you can make the card and it just goes in there like that. Nice and easy. Um, and with this envelope, I've got a, a notch opening here as a, a closure for the envelope flap. And that closure is this one here. I'll just show you. It came in this set here that I purchased online. So you get these three size. Um, they're like when you cut it, it has this score line on the top there. And so when you run it through, that part stays closed. But then this part here has an opening, so it's like a an opening flap. So you, that's um, how they look like when you cut it up. And then it came with this little half circle notch. And um, so that's what it creates here when you run it through the machine. And I thought that was just a nice way to keep your envelope closed. And these cute little tea, uh, tea cup and teapot uh, was a die set that I also purchased online which is this one here. So you get two teacups, you get the sugar bowl, the milk jug and the teapot. I'll also put the link down below for you if you wanted to purchase um, this teacup set. And I'll also put the link down below for the um, the die set that came with this notch as well. So that's just another um, die set that I wanted to share with you. So I'll show you how to make the mason jar card as well and with the card you when you cut the paper you'll get an extra strip of paper which measures two inches by six inches so that doesn't get go to waste because you'll be able to make these cute um, little tiny uh, mason jar or embellished mason jar that I made with the leftover piece from the uh, card so they're really cute so I'll also show you um, how to make these ones as well out of the um, paper so you, you can, with this one here, you will be able to get the card and three of these from one piece of 6x6 six six paper. So that's another um, great way to make your projects and you don't get to waste them. I'll take them out. Okay, so we'll go ahead and I'm going to show you how to make the uh, mason jar and the pocket first. So you'll need um, your piece of 6x6 six six paper or any paper you, um, that you prefer. Um, so you cut your paper 
and you see if I see so your one piece you're going to cut it at uh, two and three quarters by six inches and then your other piece you were going to cut that at uh, two and a half inches by four inches I'll put the measurements down below for you as well so um, you don't have to worry if you've forgotten the measurements I'll put them down so we'll start making the pocket first so what we do is we're going to slide your paper in your uh, punch board and we are going to line the paper over at the four and a quarter inch mark and then we're just going to uh, punch that and then turn that over and line it again at the four and a quarter inch mark and we'll just punch that again and then we'll just slide the paper over and we are going to line the edge of your paper to the um, point of the notch just there so when you've got that there we're going to go ahead and punch that turn that over and do the same thing on the other side lining it up on the edge and your paper should look like that and then you just grab your scissors and then we are going to just cut along the um, side just here and over here so we're just going to cut nice and as straight as you can just like that and then the same on this side here kind of straight and you'll see that it will form like a mason jar top so that's the top there and what we'll do here is I'll just turn that over and we're just going to fold this bottom bit up and just let the uh, edge meet where we punch the um, where we made that punch and just fold that over and that creates your pocket and I'm just going to glue a head uh, along the side just alongside here just like that and also on the other side And then we'll just close it up and that creates your pocket. So I put too much glue on my one. Okay, we'll just close that up. And that's your pocket done. And what you can do here is like what I've done here, I've just added some washi to the top just to decorate the um, top part. If you like to do that, you can do that and add some washi or some scrap paper if you want. Okay, so then now we'll make the uh, mason jar with the smaller piece which is your two and a half by four inch um, paper and we'll do the same thing all we're doing here is we're just going to slide your paper in and line the edge of your paper to the notch and we'll just punch that and turn it over and just repeat that to the other side and then we'll just grab your scissors and then we'll do the same thing and just cut this out and the same with the other side and that's, uh, that creates your mason jar top and then we're just going to corner around the uh, bottom so we'll just turn your envelope punch board around slide that in and just punch the corners and that will create a that will round off your corners there for you so that's your uh, tag done and your pocket and that just goes in there and then you can just um, embellish it and decorate it the same way like I have here. So that's um, how you make this one. And now we'll just go ahead and now we're going to make the mason jar card. So what we'll do with that is you're going to grab your 6x6 six six paper and then you're going to cut your paper at um, uh, 4 inches by 6 inches and then you'll have this little piece left over from your 6x6 uh, six six paper and that's the one that we're going to use later on for our uh, mini mason jar or embellished mason jar so we'll put that to the side and we'll go ahead and make the card first so it's very easy just folding it over in half just like that and then we'll slide it under the punch board like we did with the um, the other mason jar one so we just slide that in and make sure the opening is on that side and again just at the edge of your paper and just punch and we turn it over and do the same and we'll 
just cut the ends and then same with the other side and corner around the bottom and that should create your mason jar card very easy and then again you just embellish it like I have with this one so that is how it looks so that's pretty easy and then you just got to make your envelope with the, your other 6x6 paper at um, uh, we using the 3x4 envelope size so that's for that one and now what we want to do here is we want to make those cute little um, these cute little mason jar using the leftover strip that we've got here so what you want to do here is you want to cut each one at two inches um, on um, the long side and you should get three pieces I haven't oh, I'll just go grab my um, paper trimmer because I didn't pre-cut my one one second so I'm just going to cut my strip at two inches and I'll show you how which is basically the same as the other one I'll just cut these so you just cut them at two inches and you should get three pieces at two by two inches okay, so you get three of them and then we just do exactly what we had done with the previous um, jars just take your paper and line it on the edge and then turn it over and just do the same and just cut the uh, ends out just like that and corner around your um, the bottom. I mean, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can leave it without the um, bottom um, corner around it. But that's how you make them. So then you've got the other two, and you can just do the same and embellish them like I have here, and add these to your projects or uh, put them in packages and send them off as happy mail or for your swap. Uh, groups and um, yes, so they're just the projects that I had made with my mason jar shape with the We Are Mirror Keepers punch board. Um, again, very easy. I use all my six by six papers for that, and also if you've got twelve by twelve paper, you'll be able to get um, two of these projects. So you'll be able to get two pockets and two mason jars, and then with your um, if you're using twelve by twelve paper, you can get um, you'll be able to make. Uh, four mason jar cards and you'll be able to make a whole heap of these uh, little mini um, mason jars and then your envelope so I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe and um, leave a comment if you like and uh, click on the bell if you want to see more of my notifications and uh, hopefully I will see you in my next video bye for now